Hey everybody, it's Diana. So today I'm kicking off my Christmas card series with a box pop-up card featuring Mama Elephant's Merry Mantle stamp set. I'll also be using stamps from O Tiny Tree, Christmas Scene, and Tandem Ride. This was a card that I originally made last year, but I'm remaking it for someone, so I decided to film it to share with you guys my uh, box card making process. I stamped out my images with Hero Arts Intense Black Ink and I cut them out. I will be showing how I color some of the images, but not all of them. Like coloring wise, I don't do anything special. I just start with a dark color and then I just blend out with a lighter color. Uh, the Copic colors that I use will not be listed in this video as I'm trying to decrease my editing time. So hopefully I can share with you guys more of my Christmas cards this year. Uh, but if you would like to know what Copic colors I use, please check out my coordinating blog post listed in the description box below. I have them all listed there. I die cut out the second smallest scallop circle from MFT stitched mini circle scallop stacks and I'm heat embossing season's greetings from Simon Says Stamps Peace on Earth stamp set in liquid platinum. Next I'm adhering all my images together so I'm starting off with my Christmas tree from the Christmas scene stamp set. So I used uh, Recollections Be Merry paper pad for my decorative panels on my box card base. I won't be showing in this video how I made my base, but if you're unfamiliar with box cards, you can check out my box card base tutorial link that should appear in the top corner. 
So I'll start by gluing my sentiment on, uh, just to get it out of the way. I'm adhering it to my inside front panel with my Zig 2 way glue pen. I cut some tabs out of scrap pieces of cardstock and I'm just gluing them to the back of my mantle, then adding some scotch tape to the tabs to adhere them to my second slot in my box card base. I'm adding some clear ring Costella to the fire, then lining it up so that it looks like the fire is in the fireplace. So like the tabs I glued onto the mantle, this time I cut a tab using a scrap piece of acetate and I adhered it to the dog's left side and taped the tab onto the first slot of my box card. I'm slowly building my scene by gluing a few presents to the dog and uh, my stockings and cookies to the mantle. I'm doing the same thing to the fox as I did the dog. I am gluing a piece of scrap acetate as a tab, but this time to its right side, adhering a present to it, and then taping the tab to the front of the box card. I'll also be doing the same thing to my tree, except adhering it to my first slot. So I cut down two longer strips of acetate to adhere my garland to. I taped one down to the front, uh, one to the first slot, and another garland without acetate directly to the backdrop. It's important to occasionally close your box card to make sure your elements are contained within the box card so it'll fit in a regular sized envelope. mice to the garland and then I'll pull out my Spectrum Noir clear overlay brush pen that you probably see in almost every single one of my videos and I'll be brushing the ornaments and presents with it to add some shimmer to the card. Uh, then I'll be finishing up my card by adding a mouse and presents to the back of the card where people write. card. If you want more card details like how many of what stamp I use from what set, I have it all listed in my corresponding blog post link below. Um, if you guys like this process video, please thumbs up and subscribe to let me know you want to see more like it and hopefully I'll be back soon with uh, more Christmas cards. Thanks for watching!